Today, we're going to see how to make a Google Sheet that automatically sends emails to the names and email addresses listed in the sheet. We're going to start out with a Google Sheet that has a few columns. Those have to include name, email, and sent. The script we're going to create is going to go row by row through the sheet and send an email to any row that's new. To make the script, we're going to go to Extensions and click on App Script. Here's where we're going to write the code. Fortunately, I've already written all the code for you, so all you have to do is delete the code here and then follow the link to the code that I'll put in the description. That will bring you to this page where you can just select and copy the code, then you can go back to your project and paste it in here. So what this code does is first it loads the data from the spreadsheet and then it detects the columns that you've already named. Then it loops through every row in the spreadsheet and sends an email to the given name and email address using the subject and the body as specified here using this template syntax. Finally, it writes the date that the email was sent into the send column. That way we know not to send the email again. So we're going to save this new script. And if we wanted to, we could run the script now. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a trigger. And this trigger is going to run this code every time a new row is added to the Google Sheet. So let's click on Add Trigger. And we already have the correct function selected here. The event source should be Spreadsheet. But the event type that we want to select is on Change, because we want this to happen when the spreadsheet is changed. So let's click Save. I got an error here, but if you get this error, all you have to do is click it again. Then we have to accept a couple of permissions, giving this script access to our Google account. I click Allow, and now it's saved. That's all we have to do. The automation is set up now. So now we can go back to our Google Sheet, and we can test it out. I'll put in a new name and email address, and you'll see that now when I edit the sheet, emails are sent to all new rows. Let's test it one more time with a new name and email address, and you'll see that an email is sent to just this new row. And that's it.